Welcome to day number four. Welcome to day number seven. Day number 12. Welcome to Do It Heartily. Aloha! Welcome to episode number five, Do It Heartily Junior Edition. Glad to have you guys back today. Go ahead, grab your Bibles, and turn with me to Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 32. This is in the New Testament, Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 32. While you're turning there, and once you get there, let's open in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today. Thank you so much for who you are and what you do for us every single day. I pray that for every young man and young lady out there listening right now, that their hearts are tender, minds are focused, ready to grow in their relationship with you. Remove the devil and his distractions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, Ephesians chapter number four. Uh, you should be familiar with this because the other day we talked about Ephesians 4.29 about corrupt communication. Have you been practicing that? Have you been practicing not saying filthy, dirty, bad words? You need to say good words. Remember, edify, build each other up, encourage your brother, encourage your sister, encourage your parents. They need it, all right? Now, uh, we're going to continue with that. In verse number 32, it says, And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Be ye kind one to another. This has probably been a little bit harder than normal. You know, you're used to at least separating from your sibling or your cousin for a little while, and you're able to go to school, to your own class, hang out with your own friends. But right now, you're kind of stuck in your house with them all the time and it, you start to get on each other's nerves you know maybe a simple just kind of tapping of the pencil or snapping of the fingers or uh, you know flicking on their cheeks you know just any little thing just drives you crazy right and so being kind it's a little harder and listen i know how that feels I'll tell you a little story uh i have three brothers and one sister and one of my brothers his name is danny okay he used to be responsible for uh, for taking care of me after school, right? He would come home. He had high school. I was in elementary school, and I always got home first, but he would come home maybe five, ten minutes later, and he kind of had to babysit me or whatever uh, while everybody else was out of the house. So one time, my mom made barbecue chicken. It was really good. And we had it as leftovers the next day. So I got home from school. I was always the first person home. And we kept our key under this giant frog statue and got it. I let myself in and I saw we had two big, plump, juicy pieces of barbecue chicken. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to eat the chicken. I'm going to drink a big glass of Mountain Dew and watch my favorite TV show and just enjoy life. And so I popped them in the microwave. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's going, it's heating up the chicken, the chicken is bubbling, it's ready to go. I got my tall glass of Mountain Dew ready to go, and I'm about to go sit down and watch my favorite TV show, just enjoy life, and oh, here comes my older brother to ruin my life. No, uh, but he comes in and he's like, hey, let me get one of those pieces of chicken. And I looked at him, and I looked at the chicken, and I looked at him, and I looked at the chicken, and this is wrong, this is against what we're talking about today, but I licked both pieces of chicken. Oh man, he was so mad at me, but he didn't do the older brother thing and just beat me up. Uh, once my mom got home, he told on me. I got in really big trouble, I got grounded, and I think my dad gave me a spanking. It was really bad, and I shouldn't have done it. I was not kind. In that moment, I had a choice. Share and be kind and be selfless with my brother, or be selfish and be unkind. And that's a choice we have every single day. In that example, I made the wrong choice. But there's times we're gonna make the wrong choice. And there's times that uh, you're gonna make the wrong choice and people are gonna make the wrong choice towards you. But what do we do? That's why the verse keeps going. Notice it says, be kind one to another. I should have been kind, selfless. I should have shared. And then it says they're tender hearted forgiving one another. That's why God keeps the verse going because God knows we're going to mess up. Guess what? My brother Danny, he forgave me. We're still brothers to this day. We still spend Christmases together and holidays and we still grew up together and did plenty of fun stuff. That was just a mistake I made towards him, but he forgave me. And it says, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. And you know what? 
If somebody does something wrong towards you or they're selfish, you don't have to hear the words, I'm sorry, in order to forgive them. You can still just forgive them. You want to know why? Because God forgives us. Anything somebody does to you, I want you to remember, you have done way worse to God because Jesus Christ died for your sins. All the sins you've ever committed, Jesus Christ died for them. So remember that the next time somebody does something wrong towards you and make sure if you do something wrong towards somebody else, make sure you say you're sorry to them and ask for forgiveness from God. Okay, so a couple of questions here for you. Number one, what is my brother's name? Number two, what did I not share with them? Number three, I read Genesis chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. Just a few verses for you to read. Make sure you're reading them. Then message me that you read it. Read it. And number four, there's a picture going to come up at the end, and it's another Lego picture. Name the Bible story or the people from the Bible from this picture. All right, good luck. We love you. God loves you even more. And aloha.